Someone has called on Oya during this new moon. Okay. <clears throat> Oya is the wife of Shango Ishu. She is a woman who has suffered from the loss of many children. She is someone that people call on when they are seeking fertility. Um, they also can call on her to conduct mischief. She likes dark chocolate. What am I picking up on, Holy Spirit, please and thank you? What is the message at this time, please and thank you, Holy Spirit? What is it that you would like to get us to know about Oya, Holy Spirit, and who may have called on her and why they called on her? What is the message? What do we need to know about this, please and thank you? Because something needs to be known about this. Five of Pentacles. There's someone who is in a partnership with another and they've been desperately trying to get pregnant, but they can't. Okay? Clarify this Five of Pentacles. Two of Wands. They know that if something doesn't change soon, the person that they're with is going to leave them. They feel they feel like <clears throat> doing this spell work, calling on Oya is gonna help this make this person stay with them, even though they may be possibly unable to have children. A King of Cups is who they're trying to get from leaving here. This King of Cups there is in this low vibrational partnership because he, why? I see he's coming out here as a King of Wands. This is what he's about to walk into if he leaves this low vibrational relationship behind. But he's in this partnership for a reason. He's taking this ambitious action for a reason. What is this? Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords? Mm. He had to learn a karmic lesson with this person that's calling on Oya and I. He had to learn something about this energy. He had to he had to understand why they were low vibrational. What they may have been doing to cause endings for others which is why they may have experienced endings in other ways, okay? Whoever this Five of Pentacles energy is that sees that this King of Cups is preparing to exit, so they're trying to get pregnant. I'm telling you, this person is trying to get pregnant, but they're not able to do so. I'm telling you, because of all the things that they have done to cause endings for others. Clarify, Holy Spirit. And this man is about to walk into his divine masculinity. Six of swords. The devil. They have caused endings for others. They have caused people to move on. After that, after dealing with a high level of destruction in their life. They've done a lot of shit behind the scenes with this moon card here. Okay? And they know that this king of cups is about to leave them. And they're trying to get pregnant. Devil moon with the high priestess to the queen of pentacles. This person trying to get pregnant. A queen of pentacles can be a mother, is a mother, can be a mother and is expecting another child. This is the energy that this five of pentacles wants to be in. She is in the devil, the moon, and the high priestess on this new moon. I knew what I was picking up on. She's calling on Oya specifically. 444 was just on the clock. But somebody is spiritually protected from the spell work that she's trying to do. Okay? And it's this King of Cups because he's a divine masculine. She's defeated. 
okay? Because I don't even really feel like this is her partner to even be calling on Oya to help her get pregnant and help keep this man. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Look what came out, y'all. Will of Fortune. I'm trying to tell you. This ain't even her divine counterpart to even be doing something that's sacred to get become fertile and get pregnant by this man in an effort to keep him or trap him to her when it's obvious that he is he has a destined path he's supposed to be walking into his divine masculinity here he's fated to be and do something else not be and remain in this low vibrational connection here and it's very low vibrational because i don't think whatever she However she tried to call on Oya, I don't feel like Oya is going to be benevolent to her. Clarify, Holy Spirit. <clears throat> we got temperance. She did call on five of cups. She, she did do that now. Okay. Hoping that Oya would balance things in her favor. But she going to be in regret. I have said it before and I'm going to say it again. You can, you need to be careful who you calling on for help and assistance and to cause harm for others. Because these, these energies, these energies do not fool with everybody like they think, like people think they do. I'm telling you. This woman finna be in regret about this King of Cups because this man is going to be able to move forward. He is not going to be tied to this person. And I'm telling you, this person been trying to get pregnant. Remain pregnant even. And she done called on this deity, this energy. Hoping. Hoping for some result. She may have tried up to five times. Because we got the five of pentacles and the five of cups. Four to five times only to end up here. Because that's where she about to end up again. And the Holy Spirit says that's the truth. I'm telling you this woman called on Oya. Hoping for good news. But she forgot about all those other times. That she called on whoever or whatever to cause endings for others. Because the Page of Wands is coming right up under the Ten of Swords. She forgot. She forgot about those times that she prayed to the ethers for something to end for someone. For this King of Cups to even withdraw and move away from other people. This woman has did a lot of spiritual warfare spiritual manipulation with this devil moon to the high priestess now and it's like the universe is about to make her sit back and reflect on the action that she's taking because she's is given that she's about to have to recover from this attempt again with this magician card this action that she's then took Because this King of Cups is going to get his new start. It's, it's inevitable. Four of Wands with the Six of Pentacles. He's going to be in a position where he can give to and receive from the person he's, he's supposed to be sharing his wealth with. The person he's supposed to be in a divine union with. Okay? He's going to go from a Five of Pentacles to a Four of Wands. He's going to go from a Four of Pentacles to a six of pentacles someone who is in an equal give and take energy someone that he can keep the scales balanced with he is he is look he look he might be about to give somebody a ring child i'm trying to tell you this man tried it but it was a lesson that he needed to learn here and he has learned it about this Devil Moon High Priestess. That's exactly what she didn't came out here as. The Devil Moon High Priestess with the Queen of Pentacles because that's what she want to be. But we see that's not what is fated to happen here. Okay. What else, Holy Spirit? What else do we need to know here? Two of Pentacles in reverse.
this this last attempt to win at all costs sending up this wayward communication I don't I mean I just really feel like she shouldn't have did that let me use another deck real quick I'm really picking up on something like This woman has called on Oya before in an attempt. I cut the deck on the Two of Pentacles. She didn't did it too much. She has called on Oya before in an attempt to become fertile and get pregnant by this man. And I think that she may have gotten pregnant, but it did not work. Cut the deck on the Seven of Wands. It didn't last. It didn't pan out. Okay, my condolences. But this woman has caused a lot of pain and strife for other people too now with this ten of swords that's why i tell people it's a cause and it's cause and effect it's cause and effect just that's how you should think when you move about in this world you should think like if i do this what's gonna happen and then think about the consequences and if you don't want to face those sad consequences then don't do that shit but this woman wasn't thinking about how it was gonna come back to her so, Holy Spirit, what else do we need to know about this before we close? Because this woman is in some type of turmoil, I feel, right now. Because it's almost like, or is about to be, chariot. Because she really was driven with this chariot energy to force this man to give to and receive from her. Driven. This is her goal. With this chariot energy. Someone who's in the chariot. Is someone who has. On that tunnel vision. Okay. They got a destined. They got a destination in mind. They got a goal in mind. That they achieving. No matter what. And they going to plow down. Anybody they get in their way. Of getting what they want. They want to be in the six of pentacles. With this masculine just like this masculine wants to be in the Six of Pentacles with whoever this Ace of Pentacles energy is here. Okay? What else, Holy Spirit? Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Knight of Cups. Temperance. I'm telling y'all, no matter what this woman want to do, this man got his eyes on a whole nother person who he want to have a divine partnership with, his divine feminine. It's almost like this man know that he going to have to go on some type of spiritual journey with this Eight of Cups to the King of Wands and spiritual confirmation in order to prepare for this divine partnership. There's some things he knows he has to moderate and balance in his life before he can give this person this offer. He knows that he has some healing and work to do because of the low vibrational connection that he's come out of. Okay? His queen of pentacles and his divine union is not inclusive of this moon devil high priestess. He got his eyes set on somebody else. He's he's cutting that out. He's realizing that that connection was something bold and irrational, erratic. Something he hopped into possibly because of some kind of sex magic here. Because she do magic. We know that already. But she called on oil one time too many with this two of pentacles and this eight of wands. Two of pentacles in reverse. Okay. Page of Wands again with the son to get a child and a commitment from this man only to end up in the Nine of Swords. Okay, because this man finna boss up for somebody else. He has his eyes on another here. Okay. Anything else we need to know about this Holy Spirit, please and thank you. I'm telling you, she's seeing. She about to see. Nine of Swords out here twice. After her attempt to try to make this happen. 
Any final messages, Holy Spirit? The star. She's, she's about to receive some enlightenment like that. You don't need to do this here anymore to make this man stay with you. It's time to release this person because at this point, she's only causing sorrow and pain and grief for herself. Okay, because this man has become enlightened. That's also what this star talks about. He's healing. He's realizing who he needs to renew his life with, who he needs to restore a connection with. He's definitely on some type of healing spiritual journey because he wants to have this Ace of Pentacles. This, the woman he considers to be his divine feminine is out here as an Ace of Pentacles twice with the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. She's actually the Queen of Pentacles in his eyes. Not this devil moon high priestess energy. Okay. That's who he finna take action with. That's who he's fin to truly boss up for. Okay. He's going from a king of cups to a king of wands. He's not going to let his emotions lead him per se. He's going to think. He's going on some type of spiritual nomadic journey. This man might be moving away from a community. Okay, but he knows that he has more options in life than a five of pentacles. With a witch, a bad witch, period, y'all. Y'all know that that is not no good energy. And then what she doing? You know, that ain't good. Cuz look, this is what it, this is what it is. This what she do now. He know that too. Mm. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Any final messages? Three of Pentacles. I'm telling you, he it's been revealed to this man, 1717, what this woman be doing and what she has done to cause endings for other people's lives. Okay? That's spiritual confirmation. I'm going to have to wrap this up, y'all. Waking up the baby. Any final messages, Holy Spirit? Anything else? Strength. With the moon, page of cups, and her persistence this evening during this new moon to get an offer from Oya of fertility. That's a risk I don't think she should have took. She jumped off the cliff with this last, this last attempt. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. Mm. I don't know what she did, but she did something tonight. But I don't feel like, look, eight of cups behind that, two of pentacles again. Two of pentacles again. So I don't know, but oh well. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Anything else, please? And thank you, Holy Spirit. King of Pentacles. No matter what she just tried to manipulate, this man is going to boss up for another woman. For the woman that he feels and knows, and it looks like to me, is his divine counterpart. His divine feminine. His divine spouse. No matter what she tries to manipulate and juggle to go in her favor. This woman going to be in regret because this man has envisioned a new future. A bright future with another. And that cycle for him is over. He has moved on. No matter what type of conflict she try to create. No matter what she tries to do. Because her doing spell work to keep him tied to her in any way. Is creating internal conflict and chaos and confusion. That's five of wands all day. Hoping to keep him stuck to her. It just is keep coming out. And the Holy Spirit says that's the truth. And I'm dropping the mic because, again, it's coming out about a fourth or fifth time. It's getting redundant, Holy Spirit. This man is going to reconnect with his past life soulmate, and I'm finna stop. No matter what type of pivotal change she tries to make in their situation, he's still going to reconnect with his past life soulmate. And I'm going to drop the mic here. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it gives you insight and guidance moving forward, but always remember, if it doesn't apply, 
please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one, y'all. Peace.